So hello everyone and welcome to another test server video. So as most of you know, there is a new module that we are, we are testing this weekend called anti-control. So what anti-control is, I will shortly and simply put it in a detailed chart or table or whatever you want to call it just in case because other youtubers have already talked about it and I'm not going too deep into that. So it's basically a passive module that removes negative effects. By negative effects it means suppression and lockdown and provides temporary protection against them and reloads after activation. The more modules the shorter reload time. So this is the hangar that I have prepared. Blitz with Sting, Nemesis with Punishers, Ember Halo Hellburner, Shotgun Strider and Scourge Spark Hover. So yeah, let's quickly change this module in hover here and use advanced repair unit and let's get into the battle here. So it seems like we are dropping into the carrier map. I'm striding, starting off with my strider here and try to do some maneuvers with it. As you know Striders relies on speed and its dashes and it certainly gets locked down a lot. And I think that this passive module, this anti-control will help him in capturing the beacons. Now we don't see lockdown weapons until now I think this blitz, I know he is using us. But as you see, as you see in the left side of our screen there is an indication showing that this module was activated and we also had a blue glow glowing type of thing showing that the module was activated now trying to brawl with this blitz here he managed to activate our our last stand without being much useful and we are dying and it's actually really hard to focus down while doing live commentary sorry guys for my bad performance if I perform bad on this game but I want to make it more informative and more you know talking with you rather than showing off and scoring high damages here so this is the blitz robot with sting I have I think like I have never ra ran this build before in test servers so let's suppress him and hopefully finish him yes so the downside of this weapon is that we cannot bypass any defense it's a kinetic weapon so I think we cannot do anything to this one shot guy so let's see what we can do here let's fire here then I want to see if anyone has lockdown weapons I wonder if this guy has lockdown let's quickly check oh he doesn't but we had a, pul a guy with pulsar there so let's go to him and hopefully he can activate yes hopefully he can activate our our anti-control as you see it was again the animation the blue glowing animation and the indicator on the left side of the screen as you can see it shows that we are immune to lockdown and suppression also for 10 seconds and this triggers if a lockdown effect or if a suppression effect hits you it triggers it in that moment so let's try to fire at this guy and suppress him okay we used our shield at least for for protection he managed to yeah let's use the death mark here will be the corrosion be able to enough to kill him no it wasn't and we have a dragoon falcon 
We cannot do much to him, but even... Even because of... Uh, what I'm trying to say here. It's really hard for me to focus now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And Sting, by the way, this weapon is... Doesn't seem much useful to me. If you're thinking of buying this weapon, please don't. Even after the buff, it doesn't seem to be doing well. I was too late here. Anyways, it's better this way so we can run all the setups that I have prepared here. Nemesis with Punishers. By the way, I'm really surprised that people... Even in test servers, they like to camp, you know. So let's go here. The Punishers were also changed. Their effects, the machine gun effects. Punishers, Punisher T and Avenger. But they are not very noticeable, I think. Oh, that's a problem. And you see it was activated again. So... We are testing a lot of visuals in this test server. We are testing visuals, new visuals to healing modules, to corrosion effect. And all that stuff and it might be a little bit not a little bit, it's actually very confusing to players here. And you know, seeing all these effects, it kind of feels like like this anti-control module isn't doesn't seem much useful. But it actually is really useful in my opinion and it will be very useful when it comes into a live server I think. So let's move on to the second game here and this time let's start with the Hellburner. So going on to this side I, I am using Deathmark on this robot and it seems like it's team deathmatch that's that's bad actually so this guy does he have halo he might actually I don't know he has last stand but it was already triggered and he's dead so let's deathmark this oh man look at the Aries Wow. One Ember and one Halo did that much damage thanks to Deathmark. That's another thing by the way. If you didn't check out yesterday's video on, De on the new active module Deathmark, you can check it out. So let's get this camper then. Let's Deathmark him. He says no. <laughs> What should we do? Let's go near him. And let's say surprise. Hey man. Are you really camping in test server? When you have the chance to try all these good setups? Or maybe you're a YouTuber trying to record a funny moments video. So I'll go for this guy then. So he wasn't able to lock down even though he has two halo and two corona He wasn't able to lock us down and now he is in very low health as you see So some of you might say that you know this module might not might not be very useful But I think it will be very useful and I like it, but I'm afraid of the pricing that they will make to it if they make it very high priced like last stand it will surely drive a lot of anger and negativity I think it should have the same price and the same upgrade price as well like the Battleborn I think 2500 gold and I think it was 20, 20 million silver for each level to upgrade for Battleborn, I don't know. 
but the point that I'm saying is that it shouldn't be as highly priced as last stand, it should be somewhat like bat battle board. So trying to use the skirt spark advantage here on the Ares and he's down. And by the way I'm thankful that this team deathmatch game is will be ending soon. Because they're usually boring games. So as soon as this guy's shield drops down, so let's jump up to avoid the vortex and the aphid. By this so let's use the advanced repair unit and we quickly healed up here so I hope I was able to showcase the new passive module called anti-control let's wear down this invader he's using magnums with vortex very interesting Man, the the invader is nerfed in test server by the way, but it still is very dominant and very powerful. They didn't nerf it too much though, and that's a good thing for players that have invader. So let's fire at invader. Oh, we have our brother here. Let's fire at our brother. Hello brother. I have it advanced repair module what do you have I'll use it before our but he's dead I was gonna say I'll use it before our last stand act activates but he's dead anyways so yeah this match is not over okay but anyways let our teammates finish finish off this guy and let's quickly summarize this video so the new passive module anti-control that we tested blocks negative effects like suppression and lockdown it will be a very useful thing but as I said I'm really afraid of the pricing that they will make to this module they're adding a lot of things lately we have pilots coming up in five point one update and let me quickly attack here I was gonna say but anyways so what I was gonna say pilots are coming up with the update 5.1 and that will complicate things even more because that's a whole new feature that they didn't let us test in test server but they are adding it anyways and now they're introducing new modules and also we have new robots as well coming up with the 5.0 update so lots of things are stacked up lots of new stuff lots of new features and they actually promised that they would slow things down but you know they aren't seem to doing so I hope that they will postpone the release of these new modules anyways guys I hope this was this video was helpful and informative to you I hope you enjoyed it so take care everyone and I will see you in the next video